Amnesty International organized a demonstration on November 15 in which scores of effigies wrapped in white cloths were laid outside the White House to visually represent the bodies of thousands of Palestinians who have died since the Israel-Hamas war began. Protesters laid roses on the props and then later placed candles between them as they demanded that U.S. President Joe Biden call for an immediate ceasefire in the conflict, Amnesty senior campaign manager Isra Shaker said the group was calling for the Israeli government to allow unimpeded humanitarian aid to Gaza after weeks of bombardment by Israel aimed at Hamas, the United States has said that a general ceasefire would not be appropriate, though it has pushed for pauses in hostilities to deliver humanitarian aid Israel has deployed overwhelming aerial firepower since the October 7 attack, which saw Hamas gunmen burst out of the Gaza Strip, killing 1,200 Israelis and taking 239 hostages. Gaza health officials say 11,000 people have been killed since the conflict started. We brought together this visual to represent a small fraction of the civilian lives killed over the past four plus weeks to demonstrate the humanity of what these lives look like and are. These are more than just numbers, they're more than just statistics. These are families, these are parents who have lost their children, children who have lost their parents, and we wanted to demonstrate their humanity. And this vigil is a representation of grief, a lot of insurmountable grief and desire and calling out for our president to do something, to stop this, because we need to stop this. How many more lives killed? How many more families destroyed?